the next speaker I have is Jean and I'm sorry, Groby. Thank you. Welcome. Hi, I'm Jane Groby, and I teach at Salem Lutheran School here in Stillwater, and I've been teaching there since 2001. So I've been in this district for a long time and have um, watched the Stillwater community um, grow and work together with us as private schools. However, one time in the near past, we were already asked to change our start time. And now you're looking at us pushing our start time back again. We serve students that are from grades preschool through grade eight. And we fit that category of the age where children need sleep. It's not a problem that we as a school district or a school can fix. It's a parent problem. When parents don't get their children to bed in time, then they don't get the necessary sleep. I'm speaking from experience from many years of teaching where I have seen the children in our classroom uh, and their community that they're coming from have changed with how they react in relationship to how much sleep they get, how much um, care, how much extra activities they have. And now we have on top of that the cell phone use, which was clearly stated by the presenters that were earlier. Our problem is not so much um, the sleep time, but it is what you're looking for to change our private schools to a different start time. And eight, a 10 o'clock start time is not acceptable. When both presenters said the best time for student learning is in the morning, and then you're taking away our morning, you are you're hijacking our children for the sake of the group of high schoolers. And that's not fair to our students and our community that we serve. We have a very valid reason to be in this community to serve as a Christian education piece for our fa families that we serve. If they do not want to attend a public school, they have the opportunity to go to a parochial school here in our community. And don't hijack our time because you can't solve a busing issue. That's, I think that's very important that you can't just fix one problem in order and then not help everyone else in the community. We're here too. And our parents pay taxes as well. And we don't use all the tax money that they're giving. They don't get that benefit. They use busing and that's about it. And not even all of our parents are using that busing. So you would be tying our hands and would affect all of the private schools here in our community and St. Croix Prep as well. And that 10 o'clock start time would also affect the extracurriculars that they are wanting to participate. Our children, as they are now, are leaving our, our schools at middle school time to participate in extracurriculars. And when they leave, they're coming out of our classrooms where we're teaching them. So they're losing already time. And now you're going to say, oh, and they're going to lose two hours of teaching time? That's not fair to them. They're, they're students too. On top of that, when we look at the social media devices, we cannot solve that problem in, in, without educating our parents. It's all over social media. If you look at the timestamps of the high schoolers right now and when they're posting, it's not before 10 o'clock. I'm sorry. Their social stamps that they're putting on their time is sometimes 2, 3 in the morning. Bedtime is a parent's responsibility. So please take that into consideration. Yes, the sleep issue is a big, big problem, but we can't solve it by just pushing everyone else aside. Thank you. Thank you.